Okay. Um, Chicane just reminded me that uh, I need to help him install an upgrade in his shop. So I'm in, in his PMD, and all the PMDs have the same layout on the main floor, which is all the, always the shop is east of the center. And um, so he has an upgrade part that he needs me to install. Uh, let's look at that kit. So I need to, um, you know what, I remember how the... I don't remember the commands. <laughs> let's look at the uh, let's look at the local commands here. So um, this is a coder command uh, coder. Um, this is a coder command here where you type local commands. It's going to show you everything that is possible for you to do, both in the the room that you're standing in, and also all items that you are carrying. Um, so what I'm going to take a look here, this might be in the um, the shop inventory, or uh, excuse me, this, the, let's see what you put this set, no, that is not right, modify level, okay, let's see what the uh, upgrade part has to say. The upgrade part really needs to tell me what to do because looking at it it just says it's an upgrade part and that really doesn't help uh, okay I don't even see where it is let me scroll up I must have missed it if Nigel were paying attention he'd spot right away um, no, that's a t that's a t uh, technician's uh, companion. That's not it. Armor DNA. Over event controller. No, we're not doing that one. No. Com. My shopper. My builder. My drinks. Power plaque. Oh, I have a power plaque. It's, it's depleted. Lizon. We got a factory. How come I'm not seeing the um, the item that he gave me? Am I carrying too much? Um, I, I have 3,000 or so uh, items in my... Or, uh, slots of it. Okay, factory forge kit. Alright, let's take a look at that. Yeah, it doesn't say what to do with it. My character is drunk. <laughs> uh, um, okay. Oh yeah, I can hear the I can hear the booms in the background. Upgrade. Let's try upgrade. Upgrade. Uh, shop. Upgrade a factory. Okay. Can I do it again? He gave me two kits. Alright, no worky, so I have, uh, he gave me two kids, so we are set. So, um, future enhancement. OOC or out of character command does not use the uh, <laughs> yeah okay cool all right so Jacane's shop is updated um, so what I wanted to show in um, so what do we do here players who own a PMD can um, 
purchase an upgrade that will open up the north, the southeast exit. So if you have a southeast exit in your, your PMD, that is the uh, atrium. The atrium, by the way, you can a player can uh, change the description. So if they want to give it a nice uh, custom description, uh, they can make make it say whatever they want. Uh, but this is where farming happens. So <clears throat> farming, um, if we um, let's just take a look here. So the idea here is that um, this. Now, actually, I, I probably have a help article or something somewhere about this, but here's what you do. Um, you look at the atrium to see the uh, overview of the crops. So, again, this is think of this like a bingo board or battleship or whatever. Um, each space on the grid is a position where you can do crops. You can think of this like some of the farming games they hit the uh, mobile platforms a few years back you can think of this as the uh, think of the I actually have a, a uh, what the hell you call it I've got uh, the little got a little handheld um, gaming device it's uh, 3ds I have a 3ds it's got like harvest moon on it and you have it's kind of the same thing you have these farming is one square at a time and the squares can be you have to till the square, then plant seeds, and um, oops, okay, you can't need to, uh, let me go ahead and do that. Prepare his forge. Yeah, I spent over about uh, two million t t <laughs> credits on testing. I won't mention that my credits are inventory. <laughs> or, uh, I won't mention that my credits are uh, infinite, but. Uh, But there you go. Um, but yeah. <laughs> All right. So repair. Yeah, that's the way it works. So the way it works is that um, a tech um, can. Yep. Some moistened dent in a swamp lobbed a scimitar at me. And thus, I'm king. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's go back to my. So I was trying to get back to the thing here. So I got about another 50 minutes or so before the game restarts. So if I look at the atrium, all right. So the way it works is that. Um, let me do it. Repairs? Yeah, I think you can. Um, yeah, so the way it works is that a uh, a B rank tech can do repairs. Oh God! <laughs> Please do the need for it. Oh, I'm gonna get so many hate letters from from a foreign country of of a particular uh, region. Um, so yeah, so you can have the way it works is that uh, repairs are most effective by an A ranked tech, but a B ranked tank tech can still do it um, I don't remember if a C rec tech can do it also they, they I think they might be able to it's just gonna be like a few points here and there but um, baby got back um, all right so it has been like forever since I've looked at the farming system in the game, so 
you know what this live stream is by the way the worst live stream in the world um, so send your hate mail to wherever you want to send your hate mail just don't send it to me so I'm not gonna read it um, so the way it works is that we have to uh, all these yellow X's that you see in my screen are withered crops so that's because I haven't been in here in a couple of years so um, we're going to basically till and uh, you have to tell it basically like till A1 um, and I think I the intention I don't know that I if I had um, I could probably do like a till all command but I would need to do it in such a way where there would be some passage of time um, yeah so T means it's been tilled so I could probably do yeah I think I would do a a, um, a till all so that because I mean doing when you first get your first atrium you're not you're not gonna have as many rows and columns as I have so um, there is a command called expand where you can buy uh, more rows and more columns and you can see here it's based on your skill level and honestly I don't even know what my skill level is supposed to be I don't know if, that, if I put a cap or what um, let's see my farming skill um, so yeah I could probably um, honestly I, don't, I have no idea what the maximum limit is for this because again I haven't looked at this in forever um, Dutchy farming how close am I to leveling up so oh I, yeah uh, <laughs> it's going to be a while before I level up my farming so I'm at the base of my level here so we're going to have to do this a hard way So, but I think what I'm going to do uh, let me open up my notes I'm going to uh, update what file am I sitting in here ok standard PMD atrium we are going to do a uh, I'm going to do a till all, which is timed. Okay, so I want to have like a till all that's kind of like when a tech A enters a a clinic or a pub or uh, whatever and does a um, a repair machine, and there's a heartbeat, and it's it'll like every every 20 or 30 seconds it'll say, okay, you've done this, you've done this, you've done this, and it'll kind of take. For this, I think it's going to need to take a few minutes to get through all this. Um, so otherwise, somebody's going to have to like do the math, right? So eight times eight, sixty-four commands is kind of tedious to have to till all this crap, right? So if you were to do, yeah, <laughs> exactly. I know, I know Nigel got the reference, but uh, I just had to kind of yank his chain a little bit. So, um, moistened tint lobbying scimitars from ponds is not a system of government. Knight, the Black Knight always triumphs. Have at you! Oh, actually, that imitation was actually quite awful. That kind of was more like um, Dark Helmet from Spaceball. And so you see, Lone Star, that evil will always triumph over good, because good is dumb. All right. Um, all right, so what else do we have these? We're going to have to look at the, um, we'll have a mass, like, till all, that'll take a period of time, okay, and then 
once our crops are tilled, uh, we have our um, our planting. What's what's the seeds command? What does this do? Oh yeah, okay. Um, this lists what seeds I have available and how long it takes for them to. Oh yeah, cool. Okay, so this tells me um, the skills column tells me what obviously what farming skill I need to be able to plant that particular uh, seed. Uh, the cost. I'm assuming that's credits, maturity. That's going to be you know, how long it takes before the thing is, is, is ready to mature. So, I mean, obviously. So, let's try, what's the fastest one? Uh, most farming games have radishes, right? I'm um, thinking back to, like, Harvest Moon or the hell it's called. Um, oh, onions. One minute, 30 seconds. All right, let's, let's do that because that's going to be fast. All right. So, how do we use plant? We say plant A1 onion. We look at our atrium, right? So we have C for um, crops that are not ready. Uh, okay, do I have a... Um, do I have a, like a watering thing or not? Do we... Okay, so apparently I don't have a water command. So it's apparently I don't have to water the the crops like I do in some farming games. So it's just we we plant, we till, we plant, and then we harvest. And I think there is a you can do so. We do crop info A1 to say okay, the crop will be ready for harvest at this date and time, and we've already passed that time, or have we? Um, no, we have not yet hit that time. Now this one here, because it's a rapid growing crop, it's a rapid withering crop. So this is, you know, if you want to plant onions, don't plan on going into the, the mines for a few hours like mech. Um, so we have to kind of keep an eye on this one. Uh, is this thing gonna? I wonder if I don't think that it tells us that it's ready to go. Okay, H. All right, it's ready to harvest. Okay, I now here's the thing. So I harvested it and I threw it into the compost bin. So when I created the farming, I didn't have any food uh, preparation, like any food preservation or cooking or anything like that, and. Uh, that's probably the next thing that has to be kind of figured out is how do we do that uh, okay so now now a1 is U, which is untilled so basically when you harvest it it resets it back to untilled so you have to now till it and it's ready to go now if we take a look at the compost bin what the heck is that all about and honestly I don't know I don't remember Food that is not eaten or sold may be safe to depart as bup, 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 bup. bin. What do I do here? Um, food you harvest is automatically goes into the compost bin. Oh, okay. Um, gotcha. first deactivate the auto compost because I want the stuff to go into my inventory so I can mess around with it. I can see what the heck I have here. Alright, Santeria. Uh, mining skill goes up. Yes. Deception. Okay. So he's asking about these deception skills. So he's asking about gambling locks, murder, stealth. Um, answer. The deception skills. <laughs> uh, oh no! Oh my God! Really, John Cleese? They actually had a one-legged man in the costume. That's awesome.
do get a bump. So there are gambling machines in the game. Um, using gambling machines in the pub. So, so we have bub pubs that have like blackjack. Um, I think there's. I know we have blackjack. I can't remember if we have poker or not, but I know we have blackjack. Um, and as you play blackjack, you get a little boost to your to your gambling skill. But um, I don't think that your gambling skill actually increases your odds of getting a card that you would need. Um, we at this time we don't have any locked doors, so um, if we had locked doors that you needed to pick, uh, then the lock skill would come into play. Um, Um, Centuria is asking about gambling machines. Um, well, I know Jacane has a casino. I just don't know if he has uh, gambling in there. Um, stealing, stealing, I turned off. So stealing is something that very early, like in the first year of the game, like I gimped that one. It was like um, because players were stealing items from coders, and they're like, "Hey, I just got your like." Level 100 test sword, fuck you, you know, it's like, okay, we're, um, and there was like, it was the Wild West, so, uh, we turned that off, we really never looked at that again, um, stealth, I, I think there might be a use for stealth in the game, I think there is like a snake command where you can try to make yourself temporarily invisible as you move from one room to the next and maybe other players won't see you or not. I think that that might still be in the game. Um, but by and large, all the things listed under Deception is all legacy stuff that really doesn't apply to the science fiction game. So I have not... Honestly, I have not spent any attention to this stuff, uh, to these Deception skills. Um, oh yeah, the Nympho Dome. I forgot about that. Oh, we need to get Karenia back on here. Um, Alright. So, and then on the occupational, um, piloting not used. That was like, there was like an event that somebody made where they wanted to have piloting, so they created the skill for that event. Um, don't think it went anywhere. Repair, that one's used. Mining, huge. Oh, it's, it's huge. It's up, it's, it's, it's just bigly. Um, inspection, yes, uh, there is an inspect skill, and that does come into play for certain circumstances. Farming, uh, we're playing with that right now. Um, engineering, it's used, and I honestly, I don't recall ex the exact use case for it, but it is used in the game. Computer interface, there are a number of things that you do as a player where, um, it does actually give an increase to your computer interface skill. But um, I don't think computer interface is queried. I'd have to look into that. Into that. Now, attack and defense are absolutely hugely important. Melee is um, the skill that is used if you're not wielding your weapon. So if you don't, say you run out of Lizon for your gun, now you have to fight with your bare fists. You want to have a good melee for that. Um, blade, blunt, and knife are now kind of obsolete right now uh, being looked at some people have really objected to when I, I took that stuff out um, right now energy gun energy gun is the um, go to weapon skill um, mainly it's because that was the direction I wanted to take the game um, some people were very unhappy with me with that that's okay uh, let's see what else we have here and then there's a, there's a couple of skills that I actually took out that are actually available behind the scenes, but you cannot see in the, the skills command. Like, for example, two-handed weapons. We don't have any two-handed weapons anymore, so I just removed that from the skills display. Uh, let's see here. Oh, back to the... That's right. Back to the farming. So let me just look at my notes here. So we need to add the... Um, Till all for timed. Um, what else do we want to do here? We need to. Oh, Chantal entered the test mud. Okay, cool. 
Um, yeah, so for anybody watching the uh, worst live stream in the world, um, we actually do have a test port up for a little while. Um, this one does have a, if you want to play around with it, um, if you go to the Facebook page for a Core Mud, um, the IP address and the port number is posted on Facebook. Um, you can, this is basically this port, this particular game is in cheat mode. So if you go to uh, the city center, there is a test port terminal. And you can get, you can type issue credits, you get a million credits. Uh, you can get a gun, you're going to get a gun that's uh, tuned for your level. You get Lee's on, you're going to get a boatload of, of uh, energy for your gun. You get a super par uh, charged power cell. Um, you can level up. Um, you basically get experience for 10 levels. I mean, you can basically go nuts. Um, so the level cap on the test port is set to 100. So if you want to go nuts and see what combat is at like level 80, level 90, level 100, go nuts. Um, it's just up right now I plan to have it up for the until the end of the day tomorrow. We'll see about if there's any demand to keep it up for any uh, longer than that. So far, actually not a whole lot of people's been in here. Um, but I have been using this to test combat. On the test port, I will tell you the combat is working flawlessly. So, uh, and also mining. So for example, if I go to my PMD, uh, let's see if I can make this bigger because I'm, I just looked at my Twitch screen and this is looking pretty awful in terms of the, the font. It's really hard to read. Let's do my preferences here. Uh, session. Oh, where is this? Uh, user interface. Enzy colors, styles. I'm trying to figure out where I can change the. Uh, oh, here we go. Um, we are looking for the default session. Hang on. It, unfortunately, I don't know why. Twitch is not picking up this little pop up window where I'm able to choose my um, fonts and stuff. Yeah, there we go. Now it's starting to change, right? There we go. Okay. Um, what was I going to show? So basically mining and combat on the test port is working perfectly. So there is no need to um, what? There's no need to hit enter. It just it just works. Um, so I don't have to hit enter every uh, you know every few seconds. Combat I don't have to to hit enter for combat to fire off so I can just clone a, you know, whatever. So it just worked. I'm not hitting enter. It's just working and um, oh great. I have no heartbeat so <laughs> there's something wrong with the uh, ready zone. Okay. Um, so I just got hosed by some problem here but in any case Problem with the uh, ratty zoom apparently, so I have to now look at that. Let's go look. Let's go look back at the uh, main core. Uh, Donald Gray. <laughs> you know, I have to take a minute. It's like he was talking about Donald Duck. No, he's talking about Donald. <laughs> oh, it's bigly. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> Be very, very quiet. <laughs> oh, oh, Donald Duck. Uh, you know, I can't do a good Donald Duck impression. I tried. I, tr I tried doing the. Uh, oh wait, no. I'm thinking of of um, Donald Duck and Daffy Duck. I can kind of do a Daffy Duck. Donald Duck with a. I I can't do that. Is this? It's not happening. Daffy Duck. If I get in the right frame of mind, I could I could do a passable Daffy Duck, but it would not be as good as you know Mel Blanc can do. So. Um, yeah. Um, Nigel, uh, Nigel's asking for Lizon powered energy blades. Actually, that's not 
out of the question. So, um, in fact, maybe on the on the other side of the reboot, we can take a look at what we're t what do we do to to do that. Uh, let me add that to my notes page here. <clears throat> These on powered energy blades. Um, it could be done. Um, you know what? Since I can do coding independent of the of the game rebooting, let's just let's just kind of mess around with that a little bit. So, um, hang on, let's just look at the atrium. Do I have? So I have a tilled thing. Let's look at my seeds. Let's maybe take something that'll take like an hour to plant. So that um, do I have anything? Oh yeah, what tomatoes? Tomatoes will will. Okay, here we go. Plant a one tomato right here you go and we'll just do a couple we'll go plant b1 tomato so uh, now just to, to verify so if you type info credits so um, oh, info money all right I need to add that to my list so info allow credits to be the same as money so, all right, info command. The info command is, is intended to be a little shorthand thing, so you can do instead of score. Score has this, you know, multi-page, um, multiple lines of, of junk, and all I want to care about is my credits. How do I get my credits all in one simple thing? You type info money, that's my credits. Okay. The idea here is that I want to verify that when I plant tomatoes, in A2, is it taking cr credits away from me? Um, did not. It must be taking it out of my my. Uh, I think it's taking it out of my PMDs account. Let's verify. Um, so a PMD owner can type assets. And I have this much. And did that change my credits? Yes, it did. This is my credits before. This is my credits after. So when you plant seeds, it takes the money out of your PMDs account. Um, so cool. All right. So that that's working as intended. Uh, so basically, the cost column when you plant seeds, it's taking that money out of your PMD account. All right. Um, all right. Let's take a look at what just as a intellectual exercise because it's New Year's Eve and I still have some alcohol left. Um, what would it take to make a Lizon powered blade? Okay. Um, let's just make sure that my recording is still on. Stream is still on. Okay. Cool. I'm just checking everything here. Um, making sure that nothing broke. Okay. I hate dust on my skin. I don't want to go to the shower right now. All right. Uh, core mud. Let's look at, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to pull up, uh, we're going to get back into the Let's Code theme of this uh, live stream. And we're going to go ahead and pull up our coding screen, and we're going to um, take a look at a couple of things. So where, where am I? I'm in the standard. Okay. Um, all energy weapons in the game will inherit... Lee's on gun. And is it in this folder or am I in stand does it have to be in standard object? Um I'm seeing a delay in what I'm typing versus what I'm getting back. Um Now I, I know you're joking, but you know, there's been people that have been kinda haranguing me about this topic. Sorry, I'm just kind of rearranging my windows here. Um, 
I'm just curious. So if I look at oh, what just happened here? Hang on. I have a window just, just went away. Sorry, just looking at my uh, various stuff here. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go back to the screen again. Worst live stream ever. So you're getting what you're paying for, which is zero. It's amazing. It's bigly. It's huge. Design guide. All right. So if anybody wanted to look at the code for a player wielded gun. Oh, let's see here. Um, upgrades. Okay, so I have to think about upgrades. Don't call me Shirley. Okay, so we have to figure out do we or do we not want upgrades for the weapon? Now, I can tell you right off the bat if if we were ever to do a Lizon powered blade we need to have a um, um, that's a good question Centauri asked does a new character even start with those particular skills um, that depends on what this uh, ADM Damon skill D underscore C uh, says that we looked at earlier in the live stream which I wasn't able to keep because my audio was fucked up so, um, actually, I did scroll through that entire file in the earlier live stream, but um, I think the answer is yes. Um, I do believe the answer is yes. Uh, those skills do not show up, but I believe all characters have those skills available, but they're a new character is going to have like a skill level of like zero and uh, a very low chance of, of there's actually a couple I will take it back there is a couple of characters in the game a couple of NPCs that carry knives and you can kill that NPC take his knife and you are able to wield it they're in the city dome um, so there are there's this is like one or two going back to doing a callback to like a couple hours ago in the live stream, um, you know it's a pain in the ass to equip these NPCs with custom weapons, customs armor. But there was a couple of people who actually did that, and those NPCs are still in the game. And yes, there are one or two NPCs in the game that have knives. The knives do not auto load, so. After the game reboots, you gotta go find that character, kill him, take the knife. That knife is yours until you log off. Um, can't put it in your workbench. It's not gonna save with you, but it'll be there for your uh, gaming session. But yes, you can play with a knife. Uh, Blunt? Um, yes. Actually, I think there are some security droids that have um, blunt staves that they wield. Um, there's like one dome that has droids that has uh, security staves and you can kill them take their stab wield it and you can level up your blunt skill again won't stay with you uh, can't put it in your workbench in your apartment but yes you can get a blunt blade um, off the top of my head I don't know blade was not a very popular uh, weapon type uh, before you know, the change over to the energy gun uh, system um, Honestly, I don't know if there's any uh, NPC in the game that has a blade, but you know, if you could find one, kill it, take its weapon, it, it would be possible because I don't think it, that skill was removed uh, from the skill daemon. So um, I think it's possible. Let's go back though. Uh, oh, and I was stupid because during the live stream I was probably not showing what I was clicking on and stuff I'm not showing right now yeah so I'm sorry I was while I was talking here I was highlighting stuff on my screen and you didn't see that so again worst live stream in the world so let's go back um, so going back here energy knife 
yes, we would have an upgrade for Lizon. This is the capacity for how much Lizon the weapon can contain. Uh, so there would be a chamber um, that is associated with a Lizon upgrade type. So yes, we would want that. Now, would we want a, a lens, a beam, or an accelerator? Uh, I don't know that. Probably not a beam. Um, so what am I talking about? So let's let's put my CMUD back in the foreground here. So let's look at my gun. So I'm talking about the installed components. So you have a lens, beam, splitter, particle accelerator, Lizon storage chamber. Um, <laughs> No, 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 this is the worst live stream ever. Just, it is. Um, but I'm better than The View. I am better than Rosie O'Donnell and the, the, the hens on the, on the View. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. Um, okay. I think that if we were to have a energy knife, I think a particle accelerator would be nice to have. I think that would fit. I think people would like to have that. Um, lens, no. I don't think that there's... You think about melee combat. You think about, you know, uh, physical... You know, somebody, you know, smacking... You know, bringing, bringing a can of whoop-ass. Um, the idea of smacking a lens against somebody else's blade, that thing's going to break. A, a, a knife, a Lizon knife is not going to have a lens. Um, also, a beam splitter, we're not going to have that on the knife. So, because that's, again, we're not projecting anything. Now, the, now on the flip side, is there... <laughs> oh, oh, thanks for keeping up. Nigel just found somebody that's got one of the uh, one of the items that I'm talking about. So there is a uh, NPC in the city gnome city dome. His name is Jacob. Nigel just found him, and Jacob is wearing one of the legacy items that I'm talking about. So if you can find Jacob, you too can advance one of the legacy skills for free uh, that otherwise you'd have to pay for. Uh, just for the uh, just for the shits and grins and griggles to <laughs> level up one of your legacy uh, weapon skills. Um, okay, uh, let's get back to the uh, let's get back to the other screen here. I'm having fun tonight. Are you? All right. Um, so I think if we were to take a copy of this file, you know, let's let's just kind of play around with it. Again, this is just kind of experimental. Let's say we're going to copy Lizon gun to Lizon knife. And make sure we don't have that file already out here. I don't want to blow away any prior experiment. I don't think I have one, but hang on. Oh, yeah, the Vorpal Blade. Sorry, I'm just looking at something that Nigel said. Um... Yeah, and that's that is critical. Yep, we are going to keep the Vorpal Blade. <laughs> the Vorpal Blade, by the way, is very cool. I could do a live stream all on that. Yeah, Vorpal. Um, now again, um, it's a call back to my uh, my education. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Jabberwocky. Yes, 
So the Jabber, I think I'm misspelling Jabberwocky. I think it's W O C K Y, maybe. Um, anybody who's studied classical literature knows what Jabberwocky is. Also, probably anybody who's watched the Muppets knows what Jabberwocky is. Uh, probably more people watch the Muppets the more people know, that read the Jabberwocky. But in any case, um, we have a Vorpal blade in this game. This game is that awesome. Um, but also there's a quest that if you take that blade and equip it, it will help you. Um, uh, Nigel asks a good question. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how hard. Actually, um, if the player knew about the aim command then it wouldn't be that hard so I'll tell you that so so one of our quest so the quest we're talking about um, is rather dark uh, in that you have to kill an NPC and sever his head and take the head to another NPC and give that head to them you, you, you can think about you know the the whole John the Baptist you know I want the head of the John the Baptist you know and so um, in by default um, it is very difficult it's very rare to sever a head through normal combat you saw me in the live stream tonight um, do a lot of, of uh, arm severing and a lot of hand severing but you have not seen me do any head severing. Um, that is hard to do because it's a random chance. Um, now there's a command you can type that will temporarily make you aim at a particular limb. And I think it's only for the next round of combat. You'd have to spam that over and over again to direct damage at the head to sever it. The Vorpal Blade that Nigel discovered um, has bonus damage towards the head and so um, uh, only if Luke wields it Yeah, I saw a lot of t-shirts where uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi is giving Luke his father's lightsaber and Luke is like, oh, what's this? And then he like turns it on and cuts his head off and end of story. <sighs> okay, getting back to getting back to the worst live stream ever. Um, let's go back to um, the, uh, the code here. Um, okay, so I was making sure that I don't have any other Lizon items. I just have the gun. All right, so we're going to copy Lizon gun to be Lizon knife. All right, so I'm not confused. I think I may wipe out some of these comments. So you can see here that back in 2007, so 2016 minus 9, whatever. I can't do math. Um, I don't know. I guess if you want to take a um, screenshot of this, this is my rant uh, of when I redid all this crap. Um, so I'm about to wipe out all this text. So One to here, delete. All right, we'll come back later and we'll add in proper comments if I actually get this thing working and it actually um, is is uh, usable. I'm going to turn on the debug. Okay, so there are some. I know from this that there are some um, statements throughout this file that if gun debug is set to one, it's going to give us extra messages. And I think as we're trying to figure out how how to get this weapon working. Um, I think that's a good idea to have those extra weapons. Um, let's see here. Clicks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, this weapon, uh, this, uh, 
this variable here is um, this comes into effect if like we we run out of of uh, ammunition so if we run out of lison in our chamber um, after so many rounds of combat it, um, yeah okay yeah Le uh, Nigel is saying in the chat there lightsaber okay so he's talking about lightsaber using a lens uh, fair statement um, that is a fair statement how do I sorry I need to tile this up and see what it, okay there we go um, I I don't know that I'm not really thinking of <laughs> oh god uh, how do I do that play the Muppets wave oh my god um Oh, uh, this is like, I have no idea if this is going to work. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, I just made my night. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, what you just heard was multiple soundtracks mixed of yours truly, and we'll just leave it at that. Uh, oh my god! Um, okay, uh, the clicks. So basically, um, the idea is that if you are out of ammunition. And so many rounds pass where you're still out of ammunition. Um, the idea is that the the weapon should be unwielded, so you switch over to melee. So you're not so that you at least get a chance to hit back, uh, because otherwise you're basically doing no damage uh, wielding a weapon that is out of ammunition. Um, I think a lot of these other functions that are in here are are going to be left in. Um, okay, type. Again, I'm just kind of playing around here, so this, this may never enter the game, but we're just kind of figuring out here. And the type will be energy knife. Um, okay, upgrades. So, so Nigel was basically postulating that, well, a lens would be good if, if we're a lightsaber, and that's actually correct. In fact, um, when I created the uh, energy gun code and about the upgrades, about swapping in, in and out of components, I was, at that time, I was actually playing through KOTOR, Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2. So in that game, you were, you know, upgrading your lightsaber, you had to assemble it, you had to get a lens and, and this and that. And so that was fresh in my mind. So that all had an impact on how I coded this stuff. So that absolutely had an impact on this file. Um, what I'm thinking, though, is that the energy knife, if I were to implement an energy knife in core, this would be more of... Um, I, I don't know that this would be a lightsaber. Uh, that would have a beam that would shoot out. I'm thinking this would be more of a. Uh, it would actually have a physical, a physical blade, but that blade would have um, some kind of an energy field that covers the entire blade. That um, is kind of like a force multiplier. Not when I say force multiplier, I don't. Um, I don't mean the force, but I mean it is. You, you smack somebody with the blade. That blade is going to do damage, and then the energy that surrounds that blade kind of multiplies that. Uh, that's what I mean by a force multiplier in this particular case. Um, so this would be um, thinking about like a like a vibro staff. Um, there's been like if you think about the okay forget about the awful awful reboot that Disney did of Tron. Think about the original Tron. 
in the original Tron where they had the enforcers that had their um, staffs uh, and the programs would be marched into the games and they'd have these guards uh, the red guards and they had their um, staffs and the staffs had uh, uh, static electricity uh, jumping off of the tips of the staffs think about the movie um, God what is that called um, oh it's probably going to come to me about 30 minutes from now um, really cheesy movie that came out uh, Kurt Russell um, the one where they uh, they had the pyramids and they went through the the portal and they went and then this there was this nerd who uh, read Egyptian and he figured out how to decode the portal they went to this other world and then the um, spaceship landed on top of the pyramid um, people are gonna be like well the, the two people watching the live stream will be like, oh yeah I know what you're talking about uh, but anyway the villains in that particular movie they also had these stabs that they carried um, that um, they used and then when they smack somebody with a staff it did extra damage because of the electricity or energy that was in the staff um, god what was that movie now this is going to be bugging me all freaking night um, anyway um, so I don't think I want to totally um, steal from Star Wars and say lightsabers I'm thinking that we want to have we want to have something part of it is we have a we have a number of players of course who are not on anymore but we have these people who have kind of leveled up their knife skill and they were really upset that their knives were rendered okay <laughs> Jacane finally found the Muppets um, um, but we want to have something where if somebody is is just opposed to using a gun that they could use a melee weapon and feel like they're doing hack and slash so I kinda not want to use the lens and the beam I do want to use the particle accelerator now I won't call it gun we'll call it something else uh, but there will be a particle accelerator that will help improve the energy output of their energy knife again that's just again I'm just kind of all of this is hypothetical right so if, if any of this ever went live um, then you kinda saw it happen but um, there'll probably be no lens let me go back to the other let me go back to the game window again I just want to want to go back to components so if we don't have let's say f let's just pretend we don't have a lens we don't have a beam, beam splitter um, the lens gives color to the um, again this is totally RP R playing uh, role playing so the color has no in fact somebody asked me this yesterday they said hey Dave or they, I'm sorry they said hey gray <laughs> they said hey the lens that you can buy in the gun shop has colors in fact let's go there so when you look at a gun shop it's got these lenses and they're color coded the color has absolutely no impact on the damage output the damage output is solely affected by whether the uh, lens does ionic kinetic or plasma um, and if I were to go forge a uh, lens it would you know, go through the prompts you could see where I'm prompted for this stuff but just trust me for now that in this uh, D column here again this is I know I'm trying to I'm trying to give a lot of information in about 75 columns so I have to abbreviate I is ionic ion damage is good against droids but bad against uh, organic kinetic equal against everybody P for plasma is 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 strong towards organic but weak against uh, droids uh, okay I guess I'm gonna have to click on Nigel's thing now you're not gonna see this window pop up uh, 
No, actually, it, uh... Oh, sorry. No more heroes. Um, I'm not familiar with it. Stargate! That's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, Nigel just, he hit on it. So I was, when I was talking about the, the geek and and uh, the, the alien spaceship landing on the pyramid, I was talking about, I was talking about Stargate. So Nigel, again, wins the cookie. He's catching all my references tonight. Um, so that's exactly what I'm talking about. Um... Okay. <laughs> oh, you just heard it. Yeah, again, there's a there's a huge delay between what I'm presenting on my screen versus what people see when they're in the game. So that's like I, I talked about Stargate probably about two minutes ago. Um, so whatever. But anyway, it's so cool because. Uh, when this game launched 20 years ago, we had no capability of doing a live stream like this. I just lost my mouse pad again. Dope. So, hang on. Let me fix my mouse here. I have a little uh, pad that I use for my mouse so I don't get uh, carpal tunnel because I use my mouse so much. Uh, let's see. Uh, do I get the shooting part two? Oh, um, oh, let's see, um, shooting, well, I can tell you we have the, oh, what is the one about the, uh, no, I thought we had one, we had a funny one about, you know what? Since we're doing sounds. Oh. Plasma thrower. Um, we need something. We need a, um, something that... Uh, interesting idea. Um, we need a component that is not specific to the upgrade type. So that if you have a, uh, let's say that you're going into an area where you know is populated by um, droids, you would have all ion stuff. You wouldn't want a you wouldn't want a plasma thrower. You'd want um, something that would be like a particle. Well, of course, we already agreed that there's gonna. Well, I already agreed with myself <laughs> that this is gonna be a particle accelerator. But um, yeah, something that would what is what is this what what is this I wonder what the is this the or no I have to let me take the oh that's right we take the take the absolute path out <laughs> Oh my god, I just went back to the 1980s. I don't remember what website that was. They had that fucking hamster or whatever. Okay. Mm. Oh, there's so many funny things that we used to used to blurt out here and uh Oh my god, this is hysterical. What else we had out here? All right, now now since uh let's see oh yeah oh yeah all the ragman stuff so oh yeah so since uh <laughs> oh god so this one good thing um good good thing ragman and Karinia aren't logged on tonight ragman sucks he plays with his legos it's no 
how fair. Gray should give them to me. He owes them to me. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's a, that was a different character. Um, oh, God. <laughs> what is the one? Oh, the birth of Dark Cat. Which is, oh, there it is. Birth of Dark Cat. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, this is like hours of fun right here. Hi, Karenia. Yes, Ragnar. Dark, you know that thing you told me to put on? <laughs> oh, my God. It broke. Do you have any idea what that means? Oh, God. Oh. And that, by the way, is a callback to the movie Better Off Dead, because that's what that scene was. But anyway, um, what the hell is this one? This must be like Dr. Ruth or something. What the hell is this? Hello, this is Dr. Ruth Whiteheimer. Now, in order for Ragman and Karenia to have good sex, Ragman must put away his Legos. Oh, God, I was so brutal back then. I'm kind of brutal now, but anyway. Um, oh, my God. That's hysterical. Um, all right, let's go back to uh, the, <laughs> let's go back to the game here. Oh, by the way, we have any players on? You know, like Ragman or Karini on. Okay, good thing they're not on, because I'd probably get a hate mail again. Um, okay, getting back to... Coding here, because that's what this live stream is about. That has absolutely failed miserably because I've just been playing sounds for the last little bit. Okay, going back to the year. So, so there's some discussion that's going on in the chat channel right now about you know do we change any of these things? Uh, we may do that. Let's see what else we have to do here. Um, plating. The plating is purely aesthetic. Um, I don't think actually plating has been implemented in the game yet for guns yet. So plating was the idea was that uh, you could um, cover your weapon with like a particular metal that you liked or a particular color that you liked. So you could like, you know, um, steel plate or mithril plate or tungsten plate your weapon. Um, and I, I don't recall if I uh, intended that to give a bonus or not. I think that the whole plating thing was just for aesthetics. Um, let's see here, short, long. Okay, don't care about that. Okay, so if we were to implement this thing, we'd have to do what? We'd have to update the long so that any upgrades that are installed would be referenced so we would um, so for example if we had a lens or something else we would you know say okay you got your lens and then okay what's the mapping for the lens uh, do you have a um, let's see what do we have I have something in here to say if you're a coder or if you're not a coder um, Okay, if you're a coder, then you actually get to see what the damage modifier is. You get to see the numbers. Otherwise, if you're a regular player, you just get to see the type. That's, that's what this block of code is here. Um, and then for uh, the beam splitter, again, if you're a coder, you get to see the actual numbers. If you're a player, you just get to see whether it's ion, kinetic, or plasma. And same thing, wash, rinse, repeat for the particle accelerator. Um, okay. Oh, we have a re game reboot. It's just started uh, for the live stream here. Okay, so when we see, this is what I'm talking about. So there's a command called next reboot. Let's us know, and uh, that's that's coming up. Oh yeah, Rant Man. Na 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 Rat Man Rat Man He's a Rat Man He's a Rat Man God Oh Yeah 
yes, that was another one. So again, these you don't want to know how these the context of how these things were recorded, but there's probably alcohol involved, lots of it. <laughs> oh, did Mac just talk about how to solve the quest? I'm afraid we're going to have to herald him. Boom! <laughs> oh, and now he's being followed by Harold. Come on. Come on, do it. Do it. Oh, he's being followed by Harold the Affectionate. Ooh, what do you see? <laughs> oh, so Harold is going to be following Mech around until the game reboot. And he's going to follow him around and he's going to like repeat what he says. He's just going to be just a real dick. <laughs> oh, some of my finest work. All right, so the evil deed has been done. Let's go back to uh, the code. Oh, this is going to be hysterical. All right, so we have um, so the if we change the upgrades to the to the um, energy knife, then we have to change query long. So we make note of that. Um, if we fire, what is this? Okay, so combat combat will know if we're carrying an energy weapon. And if combat detects that we have an energy weapon, it's going to invoke the fire function in our weapon. It's going to say, okay, um, it's going to give us a pointer to the uh, person that we're fighting against. It's also, combat is going to tell us what limb we're attacking, whether it's the torso, the head, the right arm, whatever. And what is this? Probably the, um, oh yeah, yeah, attack number. Uh, attack number one is our primary attack. Pr attack number two is our offhand weapon. And attack number three and four is if we're an Artrid character that has uh, additional limbs. Basically, uh, if attack number is one, this is completely going off of memory. It's been years since I've looked at this code. But basically, our primary attack gets um, the highest chance of success. And then all... Uh, additional limbs that are carrying weapons will have decreased chances of, of attack or whatever. Uh, a two hit, whatever. Um, hang on, so let's calibrate this. My calibrate thing is kind of messed up. Um, yeah, the jukebox thing. That's okay. Sorry, I was just looking at what something. That Centario was talking about the jukebox, uh, which actually I have not messed. I've, that's kind of more of a portable specific thing. Uh, some clients have a hard time with that. Um, let me respond to that. with CMUD. Um, okay, let me go back to uh, where it was. So I was trying to figure out. So if we were to do knives, do we need to change anything in the fire code? Well, yes. Um, okay, so basically there is a, uh, a check here that says if we don't have the proper if we don't have the proper upgrades installed, then we're mis misconfigured and so it's not going to allow us to do anything 
So um, the combat code will, um, if it sees a uh, certain return codes, it's going to say, "Okay, don't, don't, don't deal damage." The idea here, I think, let me see what the comments say. So if I, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. The combat code will return uh, if if this function returns a negative one it will treat it as a miss S swing and a miss um, due to be out of ammo or some other misfire otherwise the number returned is the number of damage that is returned so um, and then that is the damage before shielding is taken into effect so you know if um, the gun or the knife deals 100 points, but 50 is absorbed by the shields. This function doesn't care about the absorption. This function just cares about trying to deal 100 points of damage. So we don't we don't care about shielding here. I'm trying to keep it simple. Um, keeping it simple is something that uh, did not enter into my mind when I coded this game. All right, Lizon, feel need, don't care. Um, clicks. All right. Okay. Is there anything in here that causes? I'm just curious if there's anything here. The section here talks about how we're trying to fire, but we don't have enough ammo. And is there anything in here that would cause the weapon to be like? Just like unmounted, unwielded. I'm just curious. What's the difference between that and that? Um. Hmm. Oh, I see. Um. Gotcha. I see what happens here. So, um. The first couple of times it will say click in red. When we hit our third or fourth, I don't know what it is, but when we hit our, uh, we'll eventually say out of Lizon, and then we won't get any more messages after that. Okay, then we look at our upgrades, and we look at, we basically loop through all of our components that we have. And we are basically accumulating our ion, plasma, and kinetic bonuses. Dun, 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 dun. Base damage, okay. Uh, so far, I'm not seeing anything here that would have to be updated for the knife. If we were to do this for a knife, this is all... See if there's anything about shooting or beams or pew pew pew. Here we're using our uh, Lizon in our weapon. I'm okay with the click sound, so um, oh, hang on, we're about to reboot. It's no. Okay. Let's hide that so you don't see me typing in my password. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. And if you heard that, that was my logon sound. Yeah, game crash. <laughs> exactly. Game crash or Linux. Um... That is a throwback to the old days. So it used to be in some of the, like, back in, like, LP mud. Like, I'm talking, like, the mid to late 90s. No, actually, like, 80s. I'm talking, like, 1988, 1999. No, 1988, 1989, when the months first came out. Um, when a reboot was scheduled... Game Crasher Linux would be summoned to the city square, and anybody who saw Game Crasher Linux knew that it 
reboot was impending. And if you were out in the field and you wanted to be summoned back to the town so you could sell your stuff because back then they didn't have auto loading stuff you could send a tell to game crasher linux he would teleport you back to the town so you could sell your stuff before you lost all of your uh, gains from combat those were the days huh no these are the good old days because now we have auto saving equipment um all right but yes exactly Um, okay, I'm going to take a brief break. I'm going to pause the um, recording, and we'll pick up again in a few minutes here.